we always want to deal whenever it's time to get fragrances and sometimes we're looking for a fragrance that's not going to hurt the pocket something that is more affordable and that is exactly what this list is i put this list together for you guys it is 10 fragrances that are affordable for the summertime these are my top picks based on the price the affordability um, 35 dollars and under something that pretty much anybody can afford where it's not going to hurt your pocket it's not going to hurt your bank um, you don't have to take out student loans you don't have to take out a mortgage a second mortgage to buy none of this stuff so i definitely um, am excited about this video and i hope you are as well so thank you so much and without any further hesitation let's get into this video Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Steve, this is my channel Fragrance Fanatic, thank you so much for tuning in today. Again, we're going over 10 fragrances that are affordable for the summertime, again $35 and under, we're not going over anything like that. If it's well over 35, that to me in my pocket is not going to be considered affordable. So that's why I'm doing this. I want you guys to save money and I want to give you guys options that are affordable for the summertime. First one though on the list is one that it does get some talk or it did get some talk um, when it first came out. I've kind of seen it die down and I don't know necessarily why. I don't know if it's because it's slightly played out. Um, it, it is a... It has a similar DNA to Aventus. This one does come from the house of Zara and it is the original vibrant leather. As you see, it puts a ton of fingerprints on it. Now, again, what I mean is not a lot of hype is that I haven't really seen anybody talking about it. And I know that currently they're sold out on their website uh, with this fragrance. I don't know if it's getting discontinued I really don't know what's going on with it, but the price point for this one is like just under 30 bucks. I think it's all their fragrances like $29.90 or some odd number like that. Really nice, clean, fresh fragrance. Very crisp for the summertime. Does hold that Aventus DNA. And what I would say that separates it slightly, because it does kind of ride, you know, that DNA and and it is slightly played out. I know a lot of people uh, reference clones of Aventus that it's just it's just done too much. I get it. I mean, there's tons and tons and tons of people that are producing fragrances that smell like Aventus, but this one has that similar DNA, but then they separate it with that leather. And I think that the leather really adds a more elegant touch because you're still getting that citrus, that bergamot, but then you get that leather feel. And I think it really just splits it up. Um, the performance is actually really decent with this one. Um, I believe it is EP concentration, but I get anywhere from four to five hours of longevity, usually one, maybe one and a half on the projection, but a really nice scent, very fresh, very clean. If you can find it, if it gets back in stock, I do highly recommend this one. Again, it does have that Aventus DNA. So if you don't want to commit to Aventus, or maybe you had a bottle before, and you don't necessarily want to get another bottle of Aventus, uh, maybe you feel it's played out, but you still want something that kind of rides that similar DNA. This one would be one to check out. I don't suggest you sleep on it. If you see it for that price point, the $29.90 or whatever they sell it for, I highly recommend it. Pick it up, sample it, check it out, see what you think. But this is the number one on the list, and it comes from Zara, and it's called Vibrant Leather. Now, I promise you this video is not full of clones, clone fragrances, but with these price points, I had to put these on the list. This one comes from Rayan Tradition, and it is called Gentle, I'm going to pronounce it wrong, El Satis, El Satis, I don't know, something like that. That's how I'm going to pronounce it, Satis. Now, as you see, the you can see the color of the bottle, right? It's got that, that gradient color, kind of similar to Dior Sauvage. Let's talk about that. I have smelled a few fragrances that have a similar DNA to Sauvage. I would say in regards to performance, price point, 
just the overall scent appeal on how it dries down the entire DNA of the fragrance. This one, in my opinion, has come closest to Dior Sauvage than anything else I have ever smelled. And you can get a full bottle, 100 ml presentation, full original box for $17.98 right now, all day, every day, twice on Sunday on my website. Very affordable, very amazing price. Projection longevity of this one is through the roof. I get six to seven hours of longevity, one to two on the projection. I have literally worn this fragrance multiple times consistently and people came up to me and was like, oh my God, that's Dior Sauvage. That smells so good, I love that. Or, oh, my boyfriend wears that. And I'm like, it's not Dior Sauvage, but, but it does smell very close to it. If I had to put a price point, or not a price point, but like a, a percentage of the, the um, closeness this one does get to Sauvage, I would probably say it's like 90 to 95% exact. Um, it's very close, you still get that pepper. It does have that ton of Embrox and Punch in it. It's just a really nice scent. Still get that little bits of woodiness in it. Very fresh, very clean. It's going to have you smell like Dior Sauvage. It's gonna definitely keep some money in your pocket at $17.98 for 100 ml. But I highly recommend you do not sleep on this one. Amazing, get it when you can. Again, this one is called Gentle Ilsaites or something like that. This next fragrance, I don't know if it's discontinued. I don't know if it's just getting hard to find for uh, an unknown reason, but I can't find it currently from suppliers that I purchased from. Um, it's an amazing fragrance. It's one that is probably the most affordable that's on this list at $7.98 on my website when it is in stock. This one comes from the house of Playboy and it is Playboy New York. This is the OG bottle. They don't make the bottles like this anymore. This fragrance, you might have seen it on a list. It usually only makes cheapy lists because I love telling you guys and putting you guys on this stuff that smells amazing, that's also affordable. This one, I mean, like, you're gonna spend more at McDonald's or Dairy Queen, like dead serious. This bottle could save your night. If you have not smelled this one before, if you have, you know what I'm talking about. But this one is just so beautiful. It's got some vetiver in it. I believe it's got some apple. It's got some pepper and some vanilla. Um, those are the main accords, pretty much what I pick up in it, but it's this fresh, clean summertime in a bottle, but more so the nightlife of summertime. Great though for the day, it's not crazy heavy. I think you can still pull it off in the pretty warm summer heat. Um, it does work down here in South Texas in the, the pretty high heats, but one definitely very seductive, very sexy. Smells amazing. A pretty unique composition. I haven't really run across anything with a similar DNA. So that's pretty awesome if you like smelling unique. For the price point of $7.98, it has okay performance. You're gonna get about an hour projection, about three, sometimes four of longevity, but overall a really nice smelling fragrance. If you have not sampled this one, I highly encourage you to check it out. If you can find it, I encourage you to buy another bottle. Get you a bottle, buy a backup bottle, buy your friend a bottle, buy your uncle, I don't care. Buy everybody a bottle because it's $7.98. Like I said, you're not gonna hurt the pockets. So, but if you have never smelled anything from the Playboy line, I highly encourage you to go to one of your local perfume shops, check them out, see what you think for yourself. Even if you can't copy the, the New York, um, I think it's Las Vegas or Miami, those are pretty decent. Smells pretty, I mean, for $7.98, man, you, you can't really go wrong with them. It's a step up from Adidas, but these actually are really nice scents. And again, the composition to me is not crazy generic. Um, it does kind of have some uniqueness behind it. Highly encourage them for $7.98, you cannot go wrong. This one comes from Playboy and it is called New York. The next one on the list comes from the house of Lacoste and this one is Lacoste Blanc. This is kind of like my little secret weapon. Um, I don't wear it a lot in the summer, but I do reach for it consistently at times during my rotations. But I like this one because it's got this really citrusy, soapy vibe that's fresh, it's masculine, it's clean, has some leather in it, so it has that really sophisticated, um, manly, gentleman kind of vibe to it. Um, it's very affordable, I think it's $25.98 on my website all day, every day. Does have decent performance, I believe this is EDT concentration. I get about one hour on the projection, four, sometimes four and a half on the longevity for a a cheaper designer or a cheapy and affordable fragrance. I think that's exceptional performance. 
if you really um, are really just turned off by performance, I mean, take a decant. I don't know. Keep a decant in your pocket, take it with you, and then reapply it throughout the day. Very nice scent, though. You do get some woodiness in it. It's slightly aquatic. It's got that beautiful grapefruit with the citrus in it. I think it has some sage and some rosemary in that beautiful leather that, to me, again, helps kind of build up that masculine vibe and just make it honestly be more manly and more sophisticated. But um, it does, again, come off kind of soapy in the opening so soapy citrus so if you're a fan of that type of of scent it's not really shower gelish it's more like like if you were to take a citrus bar of soap and put that as a note in a fragrance then that's kind of what you would get kind of in the opening but if you're looking to add something kind of like a new citrus fragrance to your collection something that's pretty manly but something that is also um, slightly different that kind of stands out on its own, I definitely encourage you to check this one out. Do not sleep on it. Again, it comes from the house of Lacoste, and this is Lacoste Blanc. Now this next one on the list comes from Paris Hilton. This one is called Just Me. And if you are in the mood or in the um, shopping for Aquadigio and you don't want to pay Aquadigio price, I got you, homie. This one is All Day Every Day, 1998. When I really dove into it, and I've actually done comparisons on my own, this does really hold that Aquadigio DNA. Um, I think it's got a little more sweetness, though, than Aquadigio. Aquadigio, to me, comes off kind of tart, um, a little, like, just full-blown citrus, like, hardly any sweetness in it. And this one kind of has a little sweetness, a little, a little tang to it. And I don't know, I think it's got tangerine and lime, so maybe the sweetness from the tangerine is really playing a big part. And I think in um, Aquadigio, I think it's bergamot, maybe, and lime. But I can just tell you from experience that this fragrance does resemble Aquadigio. If, again, if you're looking for something that is affordable, this one's $19.98 for a full bottle. If you want something that smells like Aquadigio and something that's gonna keep your pockets full, I highly encourage this one. It is EDT concentration. You get about an hour of projection, like three and a half of longevity, and that's about it. Uh, but as I said a minute ago, if you want to have it smell throughout the day, just put some in a decant bottle, keep it in your pocket, keep it with you. However, you keep decants and do that, reapply it. But for 1998, it is a really great smelling fragrance, one that definitely is fresh and clean. It's going to have you standing out. If people have smelled Aquadigio before, or they are a fan of that type of scent and that type of vibe, this one's got you covered. But highly recommend it. it comes from Paris Hilton, and it is called Just Me. This next one on the list comes from the house of Sammy and Drouse, and it's one of his best sellers, which is called Blue Sapphire. If you've sampled his fragrances before, then you might understand that the performance is ridiculous with them. And you would probably say that this one probably resembles uh, Roger Davalisium a little bit. And I'm, I would say you're not, you're not inaccurate about that. It does kind of resemble it, but then it's like, uh, like I use this analogy, it's like Roja Dove's evil twin, right? And not an evil in a bad way, because sometimes evil has, <laughs> A lot of times, evil has a, um, a negative connotation towards it. I get it. Um, in this case, let's say evil's a good word, right? Let's like say that good is bad and bad is good. So Elysium, we know what it smells like. If you've smelled it and sampled it before, you're very familiar with that kind of composition, the, the way it comes across, the way it dries down. And it's a good scent. Uh, I don't deny it. But I would say, I don't know, there's just a different quality about this one. And I think this one has leather in it. Yes, this one has leather in it. And I'm not sure if Elysium does, but I can say that I pick up this one has a bit more of a leather feel. And it comes across almost a little more sophisticated um, and a little more masculine um, than Elysium. Crazy, crazy performance. One to two on the projection. Um, six, sometimes seven on longevity, and you can pick these up off Sammy's website for $29.98 all day, every day. Amazing scent. Um, not just this one, but the line that he produces, very, very affordable, very amazing. But this one right here, to me, out of all of the scents I think that I have had 
um, the pleasure of sampling from Sammy. This one takes it. For the summertime, this one will have you rocking, smelling great, standing out. People definitely want to know what it is that you have on and you're going to keep all that money in your pocket because it's only $29.98 for a bottle. So if you haven't sampled anything from Sammy, highly encourage you to start with this one. This comes from his house again and it is called Blue Sapphire. The next one on the list comes from Cremo and this one is Ice Citrone and Driftwood. It is EDT Concentration. Now, this is, I think, one of their newer ones, if not their newest fragrance release. I know it was when I received it, which was like, probably like seven or eight months ago, maybe a year ago. Um, but out of everything that I have sampled, and I've sampled quite a bit from them, I own literally the entire Walmart line, body washes, and then also the bottles. I would say this one definitely top notch. This is my favorite. Um, it just has this really unique characteristic. It's, it's fresh, it's clean. I know it doesn't have it in it, but it's slightly aquatic in my opinion. It, it works really well for like in my situation, I live by the sea. This one works definitely well by the ocean. If you from a coastal area, this one works amazing. Definitely cuts right through the heat. It smells amazing. Does not do very good on performance though. It's pretty bad on performance, I'm not gonna lie. Like it's like three hours longevity, barely one on the projection. But I mean, for 25 bucks, sometimes I think 20 is what normally they sell it at Walmart. It is out of stock and I don't know, it kind of scares me, I don't know if it's getting discontinued. From their line, it's the one I would probably most recommend. Just based on the price, based on the actual scent appeal, a decent fragrance. If you can find some place that has it where you can sample it, I don't think many places sell it and I don't think Walmart lets you actually sample um, fragrances. Um, you might want to get a decant somewhere, maybe get one offline, eBay, somewhere. Check it out, see what you think before you commit to a full bottle. But if you are looking for something cheap and something to add your, your collection from Cremo, this is the one you should probably add next. Again, it comes from Cremo though. It's called Ice Citrone and Driftwood. The next one on the list is one that's been on here before. If you've watched any of my videos for cheap fragrances or, or stuff affordable for the summer, then you've probably seen this one before. It's one of my favorite for the summertime that's also affordable. It comes from Kenneth Cole and it's called Reaction. Now this is my like melon bomb fragrance. It has this beautiful melon note and I don't know like what exact melon it is. I can't remember off the top of my head. But then it's got watermelon and I don't have, that is so good. I do not have a lot of fragrances that have watermelon notes in it. This one is kind of airy. It's, it's kind of light, but it's fresh. It's clean. It has a little sweetness to it, but it also has this almost athletic feel. Shower gelish vibe. It is EDT concentration, but unfortunately I only get about one hour a projection three sometimes four but normally three hours of longevity but I mean it's an amazing scent and I don't care about the performance I don't care how long it lasts you can get it for under 30 bucks um, it is a really nice fragrance and this is one I will continue to keep in my collection um, as long as it's still around hopefully it does not get, dis get discontinued because I really enjoy this scent and it's definitely the composition um, it's pretty unique. I haven't smelled anything that really holds this um, same or even similar DNA. But it's one that if you have not sampled before from Kenneth Cole, that I highly recommend. They do stock this, as long as it's not discontinued. They do stock it at most perfume shops. You can check it out. You can sample it, see what you think for yourself. Again, you can get about a full bottle for just under 30 bucks. If you have not sampled it, again, check it out. Don't sleep on it. Comes from Kenneth Cole and it is called Reaction. The next one on the list comes from Lacoste. This one is Style and Play. You've probably seen it on a list before. Now this one is another fresh, clean fragrance, slightly aquatic, um, definitely has that shower gelish vibe. I would say this one's a little more fruity, a little more sweet. It does have some vetiver. I think it has some patchouli in it. And it's just really a fresh and clean overall scent very youthful so if you're looking for something and you don't want it to be overly masculine but you also want it to kind of ride that you know masculine vibe but a young man vibe 
then this one has definitely got you covered. I think they go for 26 or 27.98. Very fair for 100 ml. Again, very fresh, clean. It's almost slightly generic though. So if you're looking for something with a little more unique composition, this one might not be the one you're looking for. You might want to look elsewhere. But if you're not really looking for that, um, then I encourage you to check this one out. The performance is not very good. Be honest, transparent. You get one hour of projection, about three, sometimes three and a half of longevity with this one, EDT concentration, but an overall decent scent. Definitely one you can rock to the gym and not offend anybody. It's on the lighter side. It's not crazy heavy. It's not crazy loud, crazy projecting. It's not going to be obnoxious. One you can wear in the office, no issues whatsoever. Um, wear it casually, dress it up slightly, maybe like a, a polo shirt. I don't think you can rock this though wearing a suit and tie. It's not going to work for you, bro. Uh, but an overall decent scent for the summertime. Have you smelling fresh and clean for the ladies. Sun's out, gun's out. So make sure you're smelling fresh. This one comes from Lacoste and it is style in play. This next one on the list is one that used to get a lot of talk. I think it was released in 2016. Does not get much talk or much love anymore in the community. And I'm really not sure why. Um, it, it's actually a decent composition of the fragrance. It's slightly unique, but it also is slightly generic. Um, this one comes from Penguin and it is Premium Blend. Now, what I like about it, it's it's got this take for a summertime scent with some citrus. It's also got some mint up top. But then it has other characteristics. They really just separated. It's got vetiver. It's got some woodiness in it. It's got some musk. I really find this a very well-rounded summertime scent, a very affordable. You all the fragrance companies that have them in stock, you can get them for like just under 30 bucks. A very decent fragrance. The performance is not crazy good. It's not horrible. Um, you get about one hour projection, about three to four on longevity. But all these fragrances on this list, just so you know, they're not gonna have crazy performance. Most of them will not. Because the price point, you're getting a lower concentration of the oil. Most of these are eau de toilette. You're getting lower concentration of the oil. It's gonna be a cheaper fragrance. It's gonna be a little lesser quality in regards to the perfume oil that you're getting um, in regards to concentration. So, you know, they're gonna, it's gonna be lagging. Just, just understand that. A really nice scent, one that, again, is slightly unique, but it also kind of rides this similar generic DNA that a lot of summertime citrus scents have. Um, but one I encourage you at least to sample, get your nose on. But if you're looking for a summertime scent to add to your collection, something that you don't have any of these fragrances would be great to add to the list. But this one again comes from Penguin and it is called Premium Blend. That's my list guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm gonna be putting out a few more videos. Um, I can't tell you necessarily when, but I have a lot of things going on. Also some updates that I'll do with videos for the website because I got some awesome stuff about to drop. But um, thank you so much guys for all the support that you always show me. Thank you for always checking out the videos. Thank you for always commenting, liking the videos and showing your support. It means so much to me. Honest to God, it means so much to me. So as always though, as always, always have new videos coming out, always have new fragrances coming in. Y'all stay safe, be blessed, and please always keep it locked. Peace.